As a leader in digital inkjet ink manufacturing, Triangle formulates their ink to improve on qualities that may have been lacking in the OEM ink set. If you are mixing or handling any ink or flush products, you must wear gloves and eye protection. If ink or flush comes in contact with skin, wipe off with a clean, dry cloth, wash the affected area with soap and water, and consult the ink series material safety data sheets for further instructions and warnings. Pre-conversion nozzle checks. Start with console at ready. Press right to display printer setup. Press down three times to select test print. Press right to display nozzle check. Press right again to display nozzle check. Press the enter button to print the nozzle check. Repeat these steps two additional times and continue. Separate and label the nozzle check pattern prints with pre-conversion, date and time, and save. Print three standardized quality print files with all print labels on standardized production media. Separate and label each print sample with date, time, ink type, and printer settings. Print status sheet. Start with console at ready. Press right to display printer setup. Press down three times to display test print. Press right to display nozzle check. Press down to select status sheet. Press right to select print. Press enter to print the status sheet. Repeat these steps to print two additional copies of the status sheet. Separate and label with time, date, and ink type. Install right side decoder board. Remove the two top cover screws and remove the right top cover. Open and remove the right front maintenance cover. Remove the five console panel screws. Open the clamp for the wire harness to lift the console panel to the left to access the screw of the right side cover. Taking caution not to disconnect the console panel cables, pull the console panel left side forward and slide the panel to the left to allow access to the right side panel screw. Remove or loosen the eight right side cover screws and remove the cover. Loosen the three right side ink house cover screws. Remove the four remaining ink house cover screws and remove the ink house cover. Locate the right side sub D board. Disconnect the four narrow ribbon cables from the board, taking note of position. From the rear of the printer, remove the left side board screws. Install the CMYK decoder board. Install the ribbon cables in the same positions from the sub D board onto the decoder board. Install the four decoder board ribbon cables. Position the blue ribbon cable end insulation away from the machine on the left connections and towards the machine on the right positions. Tape down the cables to prevent contact when reinstalling the printer covers. 
Install left side decoder board. Remove the two left top cover screws from the rear of the cover and remove the left top cover. Remove the left top, maintenance, and ink house covers the same as was done on the right side. Install the light cyan, light magenta, orange and green decoder board. Install the ribbon cables for light cyan and light magenta in the same positions from the sub D board onto the decoder board. Install the two decoder board ribbon cables for light cyan and light magenta. Position the blue ribbon cable end installation away from the machine on the left connections and towards the machine on the right positions. Install the OEM flat cables for orange and green on the original board. The black ink bag has been found to collect sediment that if left will cause head failure at conversion. To resolve the issue, the black ink bag must be thoroughly flushed using the syringe tool. Move the head carriage into the uncapped position and access the black ink line connection at the rear of the printer. Place a lint-free wipe under the connection to catch the ink that will spill from the bag. Unscrew the black ink line white screw connection and connect the syringe tool brass fitting in its place. Using the syringe, with firm pressure completely remove all the fluid contents of the black ink bag. Close the tool valve and remove the syringe to empty into a waste container. Open the tool valve as needed to remove additional fluid. Suction until the syringe pulls air. Fill the syringe with 40 milliliters of Eco Flush and fill into the black ink bag. Completely remove the flush with the syringe tool until the bag flattens. Then, push the flush back in the ink bag with the same syringe. Repeat these steps a total of five times and continue. Completely remove and empty the flush into a waste container and repeat these steps a minimum of 10 times or until the flush is transparent. Using the syringe with firm suction pressure, completely remove any remaining fluid from the ink bag and remove the syringe tool. Install the 6 micron filter. Reconnect the black ink lines and fitting and move the carriage head to the capped position. Finally, reconnect the ink supply to ink bag connection. Install refillable ink cartridges. Remove OEM ink cartridges for color positions cyan, magenta, yellow, black, light magenta, and light cyan. Install refillable ink cartridges into the correct color positions.
Install temporary in-house door switch bypass, left and right. Install and close the left and right maintenance covers. Reconnect the console panel wire harness clip. Confirm decoder board function. Connect power to the printer. Power on the printer. Check console ink level. The console ink level should read cyan, magenta, yellow, black, light cyan, and light magenta positions from 95 to 100%. And green and orange should read the same as before converting. Power down the printer. Remove temporary ink housing door switch bypass. Open and remove maintenance covers. Tape down the ink house right side cables to prevent contact when reinstalling printer covers. The sequence for cover reinstallation is ink house covers left and right, side panel left and right, Console panel, left and right. Maintenance cover, left and right. Top panel, left and right. Leave the top cover screws on both the left and right sides off to allow for installation of the EcoBulk bracket hardware. Install the EcoBulk ink tray bracket onto the printer at the top cover rear screw positions using the two provided screws and washers. Install the supplied support bumpers on the left and right sides of the ink tray bracket. Assemble the two EcoBulk brackets using the hardware provided. Assemble EcoBulk onto the ink tray using the provided hardware. Install EcoBulk cyan, magenta, yellow, and black ink containers into EcoBulk bracket. Repeat steps for EcoBulk system installation on the left ink house cover and continue. Install EcoBulk light cyan and light magenta ink containers into the EcoBulk bracket. Assemble the tubing connection and install the tubing onto the refillable cartridge. Connect the EcoBulk ink tube to the refillable cartridge ink tube. Close the tubing clamp. Remove the tubing needle protective foam and fully insert the needle into the EcoBulk ink container septum. Check all tube fitting connections and open the ink line clamp to allow ink flow from the EcoBulk ink container into the refillable cartridge. Adjust the ink level as needed to maintain a fill level of two-thirds full. Turn the dial located at the refillable cartridge ink inlet clockwise to increase the ink level or counterclockwise to decrease the ink level. Inspect all tubing connections for leaks and tighten and correct as needed. Ink fill procedure. Plug in power to the printer. Press and hold the pause reset button, paper feed button, and menu button simultaneously and then press the power button to enter the service mode. Printer console will display self testing. Press right once to display test. 
Press down once to select adjustment. Press right to display CR origin adjust. Press down four times to select init fill. Press right once to confirm. Press enter to execute init fill. This process takes about 18 minutes. Allow the process to complete. Empty the waste tank. Press enter to execute init fill. Again, allow process to complete. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Damper replacement procedure. Make sure that all the power to the printer is off. There are two screws on top and one screw on each side of the carriage cover. Remove these screws and remove the cover. Once the carriage cover is removed, place some low adhesive tape around the top front of the carriage. This will hold the ink lines in place once they are removed from the print head. The ink lines are labeled A through H. Note the connection order of the ink lines. Individually pry off each ink line from the top of the damper with a small screwdriver and place upside down inside the tape to hold. Note that each color will have two ink lines. The first line removed from each color will not leak, but when removing the second ink line of the same color, make sure to secure it quickly so as to avoid any ink spillage onto the print head. Once you have removed all of the ink lines from the print head, remove the print head cover by using a small screwdriver to release the inner lock of each side of the print head. Be careful when releasing the inner lock on the right side of the print head so as not to unseat the ribbon cables to the head. Completely remove the cover and you will see that there are four dampers in the print head. Using a small flathead screwdriver, pry the damper out. Replace with the new damper making sure it is securely seated in the same direction. The large circular valve on top should be placed to the right. The two small square valves on top should face to the left. Reconnect the ink lines, making sure to connect them to the corresponding letter. Once the dampers have been replaced, slide the print head cover back onto the print head until you hear a click on both sides indicating the cover is secure. Inspect to ensure that the ribbon cables are properly seated. If not properly seated or connected, you may trip some fuses on the main board that may require replacement of the main board. Perform a couple of heavy cleanings before putting the carriage cover back on to ensure the dampers are connected properly and pulling ink into the print head. If the dampers are connected properly, the ink lines will show a steady flow of ink to the head. Put the carriage cover back on. Press the power button again to turn the printer back on. Print the nozzle test to check print head condition. Perform head cleaning as needed. Head cleaning procedure. Start at console display ready. Press right once to display printer setup. Press down two times to display maintenance. Press right to access maintenance cleaning options. Press down or up to select the cleaning option. Press right to confirm. Press enter to execute. Post conversion nozzle test. Start with console at ready. Press right once. Press down three times to display test print. Press right to display nozzle check. Press right to select nozzle check. Press enter to print the nozzle check. Print two additional nozzle tests. Separate and label the nozzle test pattern prints with post conversion, date, time, and save. 
print three standardized quality print files with all print labels on standardized production media. Separate and label each print sample with date, time, ink type, and printer settings. Cross-platform support is a part of the Inks digital package. This includes equipment parts as well as specialists who can service many printer makes and models. With an unsurpassed global dealer network offering full technical training and local technical support to customers, Inks Digital redefines value added. Thank you for using Triangle, and remember to check back for new videos and updates.